here I have six one-inch flowers. These flowers are one inches. They were cut using the Cricut cartridge Accent Essentials. And I used the Cricut Craft Room to cut these out. And I used the autofill feature. That way I was able to cut many flowers. So that way I could be able to just grab some and use them as I needed them. And it really it's a really a great feature and I, I just love it. So what we're going to do is we're going to stamp. I'm sorry, we're not going to stamp. We're going to spray these flowers and we're going to use our Lindy's Stamp Gang. If you can see that, I'll try and bring it up for you. Lindy's Stamp Gang. And this color for the flowers we're going to use is Opal Sea Oats. And I'll use that for the flower petals. And then for the bottom, the uh, green like leaf part is also um, a Lindy Stamp Gang. And this one is, you can see that, Rusty Lantern Lime. So I'll use that for my bottom one. And so let's get these sprayed and I'll be right back. And now here are my sprayed flowers. Try and get them up here so you can see them a little bit better. A little bit higher. I don't know if you can quite tell that there's a shimmer on there, but they really turned out beautiful. They're very, very pretty. Can you see that there? There we go. The shimmer on it. Just ever so slightly. It's almost like a coppery gold color. And the green one turned out beautiful as well. Yeah, that kind of catches the shimmer when I get the light on there. We are going to use our flower making tool to rub on the flowers that will cause them to curl and give us our flower shape or our flower form. But I want to show you the um, the piece of board that I used to make that with. So let me get that for you. Okay, before I go through the process of showing you how I made my, of how to make the flowers, I'm going to show you the board that I use to help create the flowers. This is a board that I picked up at Michael's. Um, it's about five bucks, and then I used my 40% off coupon on that. And I just took some foam and mounted it on the board. And then that way it acts as a nice cushion for when you're rubbing your flowers to help create the flower as well as it's really great and ideal for stamping. It's an ideal surface because it's nice and squishy. If I flip this over, I also use this for cutting. It saves me from having to cut on my mats and ruining my mats. It's also ideal for heat embossing. That way the heat from your, your heat embosser, again, isn't going to ruin your mats um, or warp them. Uh, this wood um, is just ideal for that. And like I said, it's very inexpensive and very easy to make and it's just just ideal. Another thing that you could use when making your flowers is this pink piece of foam. A lot of people see this. It is um, a paper piercing mat by We Are Memory, Ke we Are Memory Keepers. So I've used this as well, to, as you can see all the little divots in here, um, for when I make my flowers. But I use this because it's multi-purpose and I can cut on it, I can emboss on it, I can stamp on it, it's lightweight, it's very easy to carry, very easy to stick in one of my bags when I go to a crop. So again, this is what I use. Um, so easy to make, so, so easy. So, you know, run out and grab yourself some foam, you know, from anything that comes in the mail, a packing foam, and just put it on a piece of wood, lightweight wood, and there you go. So let's get to show, let's get to making those flowers. Okay, I've got my flowers here, and I'm ready to start using a special tool that I have here on these. And this is my flower making tool. I'm sure there's a, another name for it. I picked it up at the shop. Um, I'm sure there's a more specific name for it, but it has this little 
nub on the bottom and that's what we're going to use to rub on the flour. This will help break up the the, pa the fibers in the paper and it'll cause it to curl and thus giving you your flower shape. Very, very easy to do. Um, so let's get started here. I'm just going to hold this down and you're going to start by going around the edges just applying some pressure here around and around the edges here and then in the center of your petal you're just going to kind of circular motion to kind of cup that petal just like so and then you're going to go and do that to each petal on your flower This is kind of work you can do while you're sitting in front of the TV. Um, you could even do it on, you know, some of my flowers, you know, are not sprayed or, or anything and they're pre-made and that way I can spray them or chalk them later to, to better match my layouts or artwork that I'm doing. But you're just going to go on and do this, like I said, to all of the petals. I, think I missed this one. All right, there we go. Now what you're going to do is you're going to, again, take this tip and put it in the middle of your flower as such. And then you're just going to rub just in a circular motion. And see how that comes up? See how that did that? And it just kind of came up. This particular flower I'm going to use as my bud, which is the center um, of my flower. And I'm going to tack it down with some glue. See how pretty that is? Just kind of tack that in there. And when I was rubbing on it too, you notice it took off some of the, the spray on there, which just adds to the vintage look of it. So there's, there's my centerpiece, my bud, and I'm going to just tack it together with some Fabri-Tac glue. And I'll do that in just a second. But you're going to do this process to all of your flowers. Very simple, very easy and just takes a little bit of time. Okay, I went ahead and finished rolling all of my flowers and cupping them. Now I'm going to take this one, and like I said, this is my bud, and I'm just going to take my Fabri-Tac glue, if I can get it down here. I should have turned it upside down before we started. And I'm just going to kind of tack these pieces together because I want it to form a nice tight bud. I have a little bit of extra glue on there but that's okay. It dries clear. And that is the center of my flower. So I'm just going to let this sit for a minute and dry. It shouldn't take too long here. Now that my bud is all set and ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start layering our flowers. On the bottom, you can see there's a semi-flat surface and that's what I'm going to start with. This dang glue. Actually, liquid glue is a lot more forgiving. I mean, you could use a glue dot if you wanted to, but the liquid glue is a lot more forgiving because you can kind of move it and rearrange it. And I'm just going to glue this right inside here. I'll just set it in.